Hi, this is Lady Lex UK, and this is a Dreams Tools tutorial. Uh, we've got to this one uh, in the Tools section. This is called Freeze. It's shaped like a snowflake. And um, you use this to um, stop yourself from accidentally moving things around. Um, so in this example, I've got some shapes here. Um, I've got a floor. I've got a cube here, a sphere. These two objects here are grouped. And this cube here is actually scoped into the floor. So uh, it's this type of thing that happens. When you mean to move this and you end up moving something that's scoped into it that you didn't intend to and all of that sort of business. So um, the floor is the thing that I quite often will accidentally move. I'll accidentally grab it and um, move it before I realize that I've done it and um, you only discover it afterwards it's just a subtle change just a little tiny little bit can make a huge difference to whether a tree is um, in the ground or something like that so things like this happen quite a bit let me just put a tree in let's just grab a tree okay so here we have a tree Let's just make it a bit smaller. I've got it in the ground like this and it all looks lovely. And then I accidentally move the the floor down. And then next thing I know, I've got trees hovering in midair. Um, if I took away the floor, you'll see it. There we go. Um, this, this is quite often what happens. Uh, people design things and then uh, things get shifted around. And then suddenly it's... Um, in completely in the wrong place so if you get something that you you've got it exactly as you want it so I want everything to be lying on the ground here that's how I want it um, I can then go into tools freeze everything goes gray and then I can just hover over what I want to freeze and press R2 or you can um, also hover over what you don't want to freeze and press L1 and R2 and it will freeze everything else in the scene apart from what you've highlighted. And then you can uh, unfreeze individual items just with R2 or you can hover over and L1 and R2 which will unfreeze everything but the object that you've selected. So there's different ways of choosing your freeze and unfreezing. But what this does is stops this from being movable. So these objects are frozen. So I can move all of this around. But these are frozen. And if I try to move them, if I try R2 on them now, they flash blue so that they are fixed into position. If we go back to freeze. Let's freeze the floor. As you can see, the scoped in object is also frozen. And I can't move these things. And the tree is also scoped into the floor now this is something uh, you need to watch when you're putting in new objects sometimes they get scoped into objects that you're not you're not aware that they're actually scoped into um, they're not grouped they're grouped with something that you weren't put, you didn't know they were grouped with um, so uh, this is a good way of, of, of finding out actually um, so let's unfreeze that so I'm freeze it again and you'll notice everything here goes blue because this is all grouped together ungroup that group there we go unfreeze that group there we go that's it that's all it does um it's very useful um you also have an unfreeze all button here it tells you how many things you've got selected now it says one uh, that is not one individual object it's obviously three objects because they're all scoped or grouped in together so it counts it as one so i can unfreeze that one and, and that disappears because I've not frozen anything freeze it again there we go it says one so if I did that um, that and that it says three because I've got this group of one this single object and then these three objects which are scoped together so it's three even though it's lots more than three there okay so that's it that's the uh, freeze option it just means that you're not accidentally moving things around when you've got them into the perfect position. And that's what it's for. Okay.
that's a quick one thanks for watching catch you in your dreams <laughs>